Capital. Lane two, Dane Ripple of Nova, Virginia. We're going to start so over start because, over we, because have a reseed. we have a reseed that we got in the beginning of the session but lost track of until just now. So here we go. Maxwell Scalamandre from Long Island Aquatic Club is in lane one. John Seidel will be in lane two from Nation's Capital Swim Club. Dane Ripple of Nova, Virginia is in lane three. Your fastest qualifier, Jack Gibson of Machine Aquatics in lane four. Joe Schaefer also from Machine in lane five. James McEarlin from Upper Dublin in six. Nicholas Bears from Nova is in lane seven. And Lawrence Redmond's in lane eight from Nation's Capital. What kind of sinks is all morning they were saying, even if you're not even if you're not in position to make the final, scratch, let someone else swim. And, and there are two open lanes here. Yeah, that's just unfortunate to see because it could be, you know, just two opportunities that uh, two other swimmers don't have. But it appears the alternates aren't here either, so. Right, so there you go. And that's probably why we had a reseed. I think there might have been a late scratch or something. And well, and then, then, there, then there were more scratches. And more scratches. Because <laughs> they're not here. Did you ever get away with uh, convincing your dad to let you scratch the last night of the meet? Uh, no, that wouldn't that wouldn't fly. I mean, yeah, that, didn't, that didn't fly with, race. with my coach. Um, you don't get too many of them. It's a pretty good chance to race other people. There's some good competition here. Take advantage of it. See, the way it worked for me was I had to convince my parents to let me stay for finals on the last night of the meet, and usually that didn't go the way I wanted. I wanted to stay, but they always wanted to go home. So. Redmond in lane eight out to a huge lead, and the rest of the field actually can't see him because he's out there in lane eight. And neither can we. <laughs> and neither can we. Well, a little bit here as we move closer to the wall, get a glimpse here. Redmond put in a solid breaststroke leg. That's his weak stroke. As we move into the freestyle, see if Redmond can hang on to the lead. He'll touch in second behind Gibson. Yeah, 33-0 to 34-9 on that breaststroke split. And John Cita at 32-8 actually had the best split, and he's really carried that momentum into the three up in lane two. Momentum's a real thing, people. Redmond right there, Cita out in lane two. It's gonna be a fight. McCurlin in lane six with a late push, so I think it's gonna be Cita though. 155.57 to take the win, followed by McEarlane at 156.48 and Redmond third.